I'm Colin Dickey, author of Cranioclepty, Grave Robbing in the Search for Genius, and also Afterlives of the Saints, Stories from the Ends of Faith. I have been working with Joanna Evenstein and the Morbid Anatomy Library for about three years now when she first uh, asked me to read out there. And in the time that I've known Joanna and worked with her out at the Morbid Anatomy Library, I have never found anything quite like what she's doing. I think of the Morbid Anatomy series in the context of 18th century ideas of rational amusement or learning for fun's sake. I feel like all of our presenters are interested in communicating their ideas because they're so excited about them. This is scholarship that they're excited about. It's not your father's scholarship. It's not your grandmother's scholarship. It's, it's uh, learning for the sake of fun. Morbid Anatomy is a project that surveys the interstices of art and medicine, death and culture. In 2008, I founded Observatory, which is a, a lecture and performance and art space. And we have there a series called Morbid Anatomy Presents, which has um, lectures on esoteric topics that kind of have to do with the macabre or the obscure or the uncanny. It's outside of the academy, it is um, outside of uh, sort of hipster subculture, and yet it draws on all of these things and um, offers a really unique lens into um, the, the various sort of undersides of, of culture that you never ever get to see anywhere else. We, we cover topics that are generally seen as unfit for polite conversation or just not popular enough to, to get for anybody to do anything about them. I am ecstatic to be involved with putting together uh, an anthology of writing and artwork by people who have presented at the Morbid Anatomy Library over the past uh, four or five years. Colin Dickey suggested the idea of putting together an anthology of some of our favorite lectures of all times, or, or maybe future lecturers in some cases, and putting together a really great publication that has short articles with lots of illustrations, beautifully designed, that's going to kind of communicate the Morbid Anatomy Presents series. Books are my thing. I know people now read things on iPads and they, they read things online and I certainly read things online as well but there's something different when you're holding an object in your hand, a beautifully crafted object that you can read in bed, that you can put a bookmark in, that you can underline. That's me. I, I like tactile objects. This is a tactile object that will be a beautiful object. I think it's great that we're now moving into a formal document, a book, an anthology of writing that we can present to the public and, and uh, offer some permanence to some of the great things that uh, she's been able to put on over the last couple of years. This is going to be a great book. It's going to be fun to read. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be fascinating. It's something very special that captures a time and a place and what's going on right now in Brooklyn, New York at the Morbid Anatomy Library.